Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, coming at you with 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball, Sapphire Edition, five box, pick your team, number nine. All card ship and every single card will be penny sleeved. And some of the main ones will, I'll, I'll top load immediately, like the Sapphires and some of the top draft picks and whatnot. And if you bought at least two teams, you got a chance at the Tigers. So let's sort by your first names right here. So there's the Tigers down there. If you bought at least two teams. So Brent did. So that's an entry. David, two teams, an entry. EA, two teams, entry. Garrett, same thing. Joe, John, Joseph. And Mark Bissett bought six teams. That's three entries. Matthew Shearer, two teams, an entry. Nick Kasberg, two teams, an entry. Scott V, two teams, entry. And... Just one team for those folks down there. Let's sort this. Let's get that in there. Name on top after five and a five, ten times. We'll get the Tigers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once more, 10 the hard way, 10th and final time. Mark Bissett, your name's on top after 10. Congrats to you. He did have the odds. There you go. Playing the odds and making the Tigers happen. Now, I know Mark's been in most of these breaks, and he knows what I'm about to say next. He knows that there has not been um, any color Spencer Torkelson cards out of here. So that's, that's what we're looking for. There's been some Torkelson cards here and there. But no parallels as of yet. Uh, King was asking what I thought about Alex Wood going to my rivals, the, the Giants. Well, Farhan Zaidi, who runs the, the Giants now, has a familiarity with Alex Wood. I don't mind it. I don't mind the move. I kind of wish we would have kept Alex Wood. But I think he deserves starting pitching options. And I don't think he's, he's a good dude. I don't think he was going to get a starting job with the Dodgers. I think he was always going to kind of be like, are you a pseudo reliever? Are you this? Are you that? So I think maybe with the Giants he'll actually he'll actually be able to knock out like twenty five plus starts a season, which which would be good for him and is and deserves it. All right, thanks everybody. Here we go. Noah is predicting a, a Soderstrom parallel. Matt Arnold, uh, I do. I do live by El Cholo. That has survived the pandemic. Uh, I don't know if West Jane is still around, but JP's I think is still there. I don't know what the what their what their situation is. But yeah, J, JP's is is a pretty fantastic, pretty fantastic place. I hope I hope it sticks around. Nice, uh, nice divey bar. Pretty fun. Pretty, pretty low key, actually. It, it brings that beach feeling back for Santa Monica, and Santa Monica has gotten so. I, I mean, I love living there, but it's gotten pretty, pretty bougie over the years. Oh, top loaders! No. Oh. What do you need, regular? Regular top. But yeah, um, JP's is a good spot though. Yeah, I don't think yeah I don't think JP's had that restaurant designation. They had good, they had some decent bar food for what it was, but yeah, I don't know if they could they could have gotten away with that. But it's a it's a good spot. It's a fun spot. Back in back in the day, what happened there? Oh, that light fell over. <laughs> it terrified me. Back in the day, we used to do pub crawls with my buddies. And that would be definitely a stop there. Hang on, let me fix this light. There's all sorts of technical difficulties in this.
I thought the light was collapsing this way. I know, yeah, don't don't have the top loaders for me. There's Jason Dominguez getting back to the break. And your parallels, we got Orange Patrick Bailey to 25 for the Giants. That's 25 out of 25. Giants are make, slowly making a making the, the rebuild. And then we've got another giant. We got RJ Dabovich. 14 out of 99 for my rivals. Going to Mark Bissett and the Giants. Cabo on Third Street's okay. I like the one next to it's not in Santa Monica, but the one in next to Q's. If you remember that. That's that's the Cabo Cantina that I that I like better. And the one in Hollywood, but that's that's a, that's a whole different vibe out there. I think big. Do you, did you like Big Deans? Big Deans, I think, is still around. I think they're still kicking. Maybe I maybe I'll grab a burger from them this weekend. Burgers and delicious waffle fries at Big Deans. Yeah, it's kind of a hassle to get into. You kind of have to plan it because you have to like, you pretty much can't park the rest of the day if you're going to do like some day drinking or whatever. So you'd have to like get a bike. I guess with all the scooters around, it's probably a lot easier now. But but um, but yeah, I think uh, Big Dean's is a good spot. That's a great spot to watch like college basketball like March Madness you'd go to the back patio get burgers and fries and just pony up at a table and get pitchers of beer and just watch uh, watch college basketball the entire time there's Riley Green 11 out of 50 I haven't been to Casa del Mar there's a I don't know if this place was around when you when you were there but um Near the Santa Monica Library, there's the there's Esther's that wine bar that's there. That that's a pretty good spot too for for like date nights and so just chill chill whining. There's Tink Hence, twenty one out of ninety nine. Cardinals E A with the Cardinals. Riley Green goes to Mark and the Tigers. No Torkelson sightings yet. Here's the next one. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of great spots. That's I think that's the beauty of that's the beauty of L.A. I think everyone sees L.A. as like whatever stereotype you have of L.A. in your head. But there's so many great places where you can hang out and at like there's so many like great bars and great divey places and like locals restaurants that you can kind of go to and not do the touristy thing and and avoid the people who are there to try to be like actors and stuff like that. There's a Zach Veen. Not familiar familiar with Del Frisco's, or is that the is that the San Francisco bar on Pico? That's down the way. It's like on like a weird New York style corner, like a flat iron kind of corner. Zach Veen goes to the Rockies. Nick Casperg. Sugarfish is still around. Um, they've got a few locations, but I think all of them are still kicking. There's Ke uh, Heston, Kirk's dad. We got Gerard Encarnacion, 10 out of 99 for the Marlins, Mark. Oh, there you go. Narg actually had some sugar fish after dropping by. Nice. And back here is Jeff Criswell Green to 50.
Yeah, Ethan, save up, make the move. It's a lot of fun here. Um, Hillstone is great. The remember, I don't know if you've been to Hillstone, Matt Arnold, the Hillstone Steakhouse near the on the promenade. Got good steaks, but they also have a very underrated. I, I like French dip sandwiches. They got a really underrated French dip sandwich. It's kind of different from like, from like, uh, like Coles in downtown. And the other one, I'm more of a Coles. Philippe's more of a Coles guy, but um, but for like a slightly fancier sort of French dip sandwich, Hillstone is a good spot. Oh, Brendan! After after being in, uh, Brandon's in Brendan's in uh in uh Australia, but he's been to LA almost a dozen times. Nice. He's been to Venice the first time. Venice is a trip. That's a lot of fun there. There's a Pete Crow Armstrong for the Mets. That'll be for Joseph. Oh, you're in New York. You're you're you live in an expensive place too. We got Ronaldo Hernandez, seventy out of ninety nine. That's for the Rays, that'll be for Scott. And there's Francisco Alvarez, forty nine out of fifty. Yeah, I, I didn't realize how – I thought Hillstone was just like a local, like, restaurant. But, uh, I mean, I assumed it had to be owned by, like, a big – but I didn't realize just how big that restaurant group was. And the Alvarez going to the Mets, by the way, Joseph, with that one. And the last box. I think Hillstone and like Rustic Canyon, I want to say, which I live nearby too, uh, is there. I also love uh, R&D Kitchen on Montana. It's a good spot for a drink or two, some food. Marmalade, good brunch spot on Mon Montana. Love that spot. There's our Spencer Torkelson for Mark Bissett. Rustic Canyon still kicking. They're, they're still grinding through the uh, pandemic. Bagel Nosh. Remember Bagel That's a great hangover food spot. Bagel Nosh still kicking. There's the Spencer Torkelson mark. And the last two, so that purple, I believe, is out of 10. So let's do the out of 99 or out of 50 first. Tink Hence. I've been there many a time. Seventh and, seventh and grand for whiskey downtown. Seven grand. Pretty delicious. That's for EA and the Cardinals. And behind Christian Robinson is Matt Libertor. Five out of 10. Another Cardinal for EA. I'm like Almost like a personal boxer EA. There you go, man. And there you have it, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. we got more Sapphire in the store and Late Night with Sean, so make him do some more. This is really good stuff. Check it out. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.